Now, there is another issue which is important to the country and particularly important to the state of Wisconsin, and that is our trade policy. Now, I know trade is not a sexy issue. It's not something the media deals with at all. But it's a very important issue, and I think you all understand that. Over the last 30, 40 years, we have had trade policies in this country written by corporate America. And what they have been designed to do is to allow companies to shut down plants in Vermont, in Wisconsin, and all over this country because they don't want to pay workers here 15, 20, 25 dollars an hour. They don't want to pay them a living wage. They don't want to protect environmental rules. They don't want to deal with unions. They'd rather move to Mexico or China, pay people pennies an hour. And that is what's happened in Wisconsin, happened in Vermont, and it is happening all across this country. In fact, since 2001, we have lost some 60,000 factories in America. Not all of it due to trade, but a lot of it. And millions of decent paying jobs. So when you ask why the middle class is disappearing, one of the reasons is a disastrous trade policy that has cost us millions of jobs and forced wages down in America. Let me just give you a few examples of trade policies impact on the state of Wisconsin. 2008, General Motors shut down its manufacturing plant in Janesville, destroying thousands of decent paying jobs and moved to Mexico where workers there are paid a fraction of the wages that are paid here. In 1996, Johnson Controls shut down in Bruce City uh, shut down its Bruce City valve plant in Milwaukee and moved to Mexico where they pay workers 72 cents an hour. Last year, Johnson Controls threw another 277 workers in Milwaukee out on the streets and moved to Mexico, China, and Slovakia. Fifteen years ago, Riggs and Stratton was Wisconsin's largest private employer with 11,000 manufacturing workers. Today, it only has 2,500 workers in Wisconsin after it moved plants to Mexico and China. Master Lock and Tower Automotive now employs more workers in Mexico than in Wisconsin. And Rockwell Automation has slashed its union workforce in Milwaukee from 6,000 down to 300 as it moved plants to Mexico, China, and the Dominican Republic. And on and on it goes. We're talking over a period of years of the loss of tens of thousands of good paying jobs here in Wisconsin, millions of jobs throughout this country. On all of these trade policies, NAFTA, permanent normal trade relations with China, I not only voted against them, I helped lead the opposition against them.